Now, according to a new report published today, Britain has one of the worst obesity rates in the world, which has contributed to a sharp rise in the number of people with type 2 diabetes. Now, this is costing the NHS over £8 billion a year, but new research suggests that type 2 diabetes can be reversed. Michael Mosley went to investigate. Type 2 diabetes is one of the biggest health challenges we face. Due to rising obesity, it now affects nearly 3 million people in the UK. Being a type 2 diabetic can have serious consequences. Blindness, heart disease, stroke. It's generally seen as an incurable disease which has to be managed by medication. But what if you could reverse it? Alan Tutty was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in 2011. My initial reaction was, uh, have you made a mistake? The next thing was really, why me? I wasn't ready to just accept it, even though I was told, you know, this is a lifelong condition, uh, get on with it. So what causes type 2 diabetes? Well, we all have a liver, this thing over here, and this produces blood glucose, blood sugar. But having too high a level of blood glucose is bad for you. So we also have this organ over here called the pancreas, which releases insulin. And insulin brings blood glucose levels down. So what happens in type 2 diabetics is the, the liver stops responding to messages from the pancreas. In desperation, the pancreas produces more and more insulin until finally it stops working altogether. At that point, the entire system breaks down and your blood glucose levels shoot up out of control. High blood sugar damages the blood vessels, which disrupts the essential supply of blood to the organs. Today, Alan is in for a checkup with Roy Taylor, Professor of Medicine and Metabolism at the University of Newcastle. When you first came to us, your blood glucose is first thing in the morning, we're eight to nine. Yes. Today we've got a 5.2, which okay. is clearly in the normal range. And yeah. so diabetes, I think of the past for you. To be told that I'm within the normal range and non-diabetic, um, I think it's just fantastic, wonderful news. Just turn around away from me. Alan's remarkable results are thanks to groundbreaking research led by Professor Taylor. Professor Taylor had noticed that patients who'd had gastric surgery saw their blood sugar levels drop dramatically shortly afterwards. Now, from my point of view, that could only be because the food intake had suddenly dropped. To test his theory, he put Alan and 31 others on an ultra-strict regime of less than 800 calories a day. For two months, Alan ate less than a third of the recommended intake for a man, effectively a starvation diet. This represents my daily fare. Um, it consisted of uh, three shakes and for an evening meal, leafy green vegetables. And how much weight do you lose? Uh, around about two and a half stone, about 14, 15 kilos. Yeah. It's not just the fact that Alan has lost weight, but where he's lost it that's made the difference. Being overweight plays a big part in whether you develop type 2 diabetes, but it's not the fat that you can feel and squeeze your love handles that really matter. It's the fat that's deep inside you, inside your organs, that's actually doing the damage. To look at this fat, Professor Taylor analyzes his patients in an MRI scanner. Over here is Alan's liver. Mm -hmm. After the eight weeks of the diet, this is the scan that we took. It's very different, isn't it? It's so this is just different. dark blue compared to the white. So you can there. see that the white, which indicates fat in the leather, has almost completely disappeared. This fat was clogging up Alan's liver, which caused his blood glucose levels to rise. By losing the fat inside the liver, the diabetes is reversed. Even though Alan was only eating 800 calories or so, his body still needed at least 2,500 just to tick over. The fat in these unusual sites gets drawn upon first. Mm. So the body has actually burnt up its excess fat and turned itself back into a lean, mean, healthy liver. It's early days, but of the 32 people in Alan's trial, over half were cured. But the success rate was even higher 80% in those who had had their diabetes for only a few years. Professor Taylor and his team are now doing a bigger study which will run for longer to see if the people who've managed to reverse their diabetes actually keep it off. 
If that happens, then I think this is a piece of research that could transform the lives of millions. Well, it seems uh, like an incredibly exciting it does, it discovery, does. this, doesn't it? Now, Dr. Sarah is with us now. Now, they, we're talking about type 2 diabetes here, not type 1. Nope. So just, just remind us of the differences, Sarah. Well, in terms of complications, there are quite a lot of complications which they share. In terms of causes, they are completely different conditions. Type 1 di diabetes is an autoimmune disease. So your body turns in itself. There's nothing that you can do about it. Mm -hmm. You can't right. stop yourself from getting type 1 diabetes. It tends to happen in childhood. Type 2 diabetes, the single biggest cause, I'm afraid, is your weight. And particularly being an apple rather than a pear. We saw in those pictures that fat deep inside your tummy. If you put on weight around your midriff, right. that's the thing that increases your risk of type 2 diabetes. Okay. And as you said, the causes are well documented for type 2. But what what about the symptoms then? If, if somebody you know, thinks that they may have symptoms, what should well, we be looking out for? You need to look out for it particularly as you get older, if it runs in your family and if you're of South Asian origin, because those people are all at higher mm -hmm. risk. But in terms of the symptoms, they can be quite subtle. So you may live for quite some time without knowing you've got it, in fact. In fact, the figures we heard on the show, on, in, in the film, only relate to the people who've got it. There's probably another half million people who don't know they've got it. We're talking about feeling a little bit tired, just feeling a, a bit exhausted, maybe weeing more often, feeling a bit more thirsty, mm. getting minor infections like thrush or boils, things like that. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. And if you would like more information about diabetes, then uh, just go to the website and put it all on there for you.